Hi everybody, Jacob here and Baby Yoda aka Grogu. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Yes, I don't have a chip on my shoulder. I have a Baby Yoda on my shoulder. What of it? Today we're going to review the Valentino Spring Summer 2023 fashion show together. Boy, what a doozy it's going to be. Very important to note, there are two videos we're going to watch, so be sure to stay tuned all the way to the end because the first video is the actual fashion show. The second video, we're going behind the scenes and we're going to dig deeper into what happened because this show, honey, ah, listen, subscribe to my channel first and foremost, push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Deco Ball Spelled Together there as well for extra perks. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday and you're all invited to join the live streams uh, and the live chats here on my channel. I'm going to queue in the chats after the show. Uh, so the live chats are here with us. Now listen, the first video we're going to watch is taken from the Valentino Garavani YouTube channel. So it falls under fair use. I, however because we will be reviewing it. But I, however, did change the music to be able to utilize uh, copyright-free music. The second video is by a channel called Offensive T. Uh, so it also falls under fair use because uh, we will be reviewing. However, Offensive T also used under fair use the footage to make their video. I edited it down a little bit, made it a little bit tighter, you know, because we like it a little tighter. So be sure to stay tuned for the second video that we're going to show in this video. I know, video, 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 repeat a few 5,000 times, but it, it's it's really worth the wait. Everything I say in this video <laughs> is for entertainment purposes only, just my opinion. Not rooted in truths or facts, everything's alleged. Baby Yoda, are you ready for the shade? Are you ready to review this show? All right, hit it. Valentino 2023. Of course, we have a bunch of pink. Um, it's so funny because the show is called Unboxing Valentino. Now, this is stated on the Valentino YouTube channel in the description box. They call it, and this is kind of, everything's holistic and everything is double meaning, right? Uh, or everything has a reason to be called the way it is because they called it Unboxing Valentino. Unboxing Shapes and Geometries imperfections and desires now the imperfections is the word du jour for this particular fashion show and we're going to find out later on in the second part uh so be sure to not click away from this video because the imperfections are coming Comelita says starting out with elegance i love it OMG, the pink gallery. Yes, the pink is awesome. Okay, so it now... Oh, we know this model. Oh, I'm really bad with names, but this model has been present in a lot of iconic uh, places. So, I love the fact that the faces are covered with the V Valentino logo. I want to have one of those nets on my face. <laughs> just, if I have a bad makeup day, you just put that on and you don't need any makeup. Fabulous. Now... I don't need to show my nipples to the world, so these dresses are maybe not for me, but I love how elegantly they flow. Not a big fan of adding feathers to everything, but there's a certain eleganza to it. It is an Italian brand after all, and they love their little fluid moments. You know, nobody does fluid like I Italian fashion houses. Love how they match the fabric color to the skin tone well not in this case because it's a little bit darker now but love that like chocolate skin and chocolate tool and silk together oh my god it's the epitome of elegance in my humble opinion i think that's really really beautiful the skin type of color in this case with these kind of powdery beige moments very fascinating however let's not forget that valentino's signature color is is a specific tone of, of red now pink is as well but there is a valentino red and a valentino pink i i want to see the valentino red as well 
this pocket moment, not feeling it, uh, the nude top, like I get it. It looks fabulously editorial, but not many people will be able to pull this off. This is a bit more forgiving around the, the belly area because it's a little bit more flowy, right? Those feathers are not going to be happy, <laughs> but it looks beautiful. They flow. That's what Valentino does. Oh my God, all the, all the pink in the... It's so funny. Okay. First disastrous moment. They edited her perfectly. Did you have the feeling that the glitter lady was wobbly on her feet? Nope, not at all. It, the way that Valentino edited this fashion show video is seamless. It looks like there's no mistakes. They called in the title or the description box, part of the title is imperfections, and yet we seem to see no imperfections in this video. Everything flows seamlessly, which is interesting to note because once we get to see the unedited version, <laughs> you're going to notice the power of editing and how you can manipulate everything, how you can manipulate something to look in a way that it really wasn't like in real life when it was really happening, which is also what propaganda does and politics. They make something look different. Ah, there it is. The Valentino red. Let's look at this iconic color. I love Valentino's red. Oh my gosh. This is it. You guys. Gorgeous. It's like an oversized shirt and the collar turns into this extremely elegant moment. Valentino Red is where it's at, right, Baby Yoda? Yeah, you're loving it. Living ferret. Baby Yoda on a shoulder. Yoda on a shoulder. Baby Yoda on a shoulder. You want to be on her shoulder? Oh, is that what you're whispering in my ear? You'd rather sit on her shoulder than on mine? You're such a horny Baby Yoda. I can't with y'all. Not a fan of all the dangly bits, you know, the all the confetti, <laughs> the sequins, because they're really uncomfortable to wear and to sit in, obviously. Uh, the, uh, here we go again with the angry models. I, I wish they were a little bit more smiling and happy on the runway. But this has been the, you know, this is, I want, do you think that was painted on her face or is that an actual net uh, with the V logos? Because I kind of want one of those. Valentino Red, baby. Everything seems so seamless. The models are in the right lanes. They're all walking in the right direction. Nobody's falling down. Oh, loving the absence of uh, eyebrows. That bone structure on that face was everything. Not a fan of the sunglasses. And those stud mini bags? Mm -mm. No. Am I the only one who's a little bit tired of these puffy sleeves with the cuffs <sighs> I'm, I'm i'm tired of it it's it's been happening since like a decade almost now like we can move on from that or make him puffy in a different way you know oh my god april says i don't want to meet any of these models in an alley hey matty says i live for puffy sleeves okay it seems like he pooped himself you're walking very slow. You're cute, but you're walking very slow, like not bending the limbs properly. Something's off. So, oh my gosh, she's so elegant. That lady, wow. Okay, she she looks tired, but she, this one was not as elegant. But the lady before was amazingly <laughs> I love that. Like that one was like so elegant. She made me go like, wow. And then the then they cut to the other one who's like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, Valentina, what are you doing to me? I'm not a fan of the glittery blue. You know, feathers on the derriere. A oh, little oversized shoulder jacket moment. Sure, why not? I mean, it's been done a thousand times before, but we still live for it. I kind of like, oh my God, you know who's going to wear this? Tilda Swinton. This is so Tilda Swinton. So, or Kate Blanchett, but more Tilda Swinton. She's definitely gonna rock that upper nude and lower green. Here's another little glitter moment. Super cute, actually. 
What's up with the bibs? He, uh, Valentina doing a bib moment. Uh, nah, it's not really a bib, but you know what I mean. Chanel keeps doing bibs in seasons. Why is that a thing? I'm not a fan of the bib. Oh my god, the oversized white shirts. Everything. I love oversized white shirts. I just wish they were a little bit less transparent. Like, translucent. Sheer. A little bit less sheer. Now, they did, you see, they did put a little, uh, like a body, like a gray body underneath. Then it works. But I want my Poplen white cotton shirt to be thick enough on its own so that I don't have to see, you know, nipples and stuff underneath. Yeah, the glitter green. Again, I don't know why whenever I see the green, I think of Tilda Swinton. Okay, a little punk moment here too, huh? Very elegant. Oh my gosh. These uh, beigey brown cream jackets and pants. Everything. Okay, the sheer. I can live without the sheer. I mean, you know. But that ensemble. How gorgeous was that, y'all? That jacket with those pants. Oh, I wouldn't mind having that, you know, little suit. Black one is nice too, but if I were gonna go with an oversized shoulder in black, I would prefer to buy it from Yoji Yamamoto because Yoji is the king of black suits. So I wouldn't go to Valentino for, for a black suit. I would go to Valentino for other colors. You know, just because I think other, other designers are more do black better in combination with tailoring. Uh, but Valentino, for me, of course we love his red, we, his pink, but for me he slayed with with the nudes, with the um, with that kind of ochre beigey uh, color. That was a slay. I'm Lady G. How's it going, sweetie? These girls are hungry. You'd look mad too if you only ate three peas and a thimble of water. Oh, this powdery pink, dusty pink. Love it. And I, I'm, I'm even going to forgive the sequins. Love that dusty powdery pink. The lilac. Oh, gorgeous. Purpley lilac. Also, really beautiful. This majestic. I would not, you see, I would like to see that color without the glittery moment. It would be even better, I feel. Oh, the back! Now that was jaw dropping. How gorgeous was that, you guys? Amazing. Completely covered in the front and then turn around and there's this like geometric cut out. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. She is to die for gorgeous. And that kind of, it looked like a leather top. Amazing. Very elegant. Such a pity that the show in reality who was there kind of witnessed the drama that went down. We're going to get to the drama. So don't you leave this video because we're going to get to all the drama in just a minute. But there really is a lot of elegance here. The mimosas. Oh, wouldn't you just love to wear a dress covered in mimosas while you're sipping on a mimosa? <laughs> Those are two different types of mimosas, just to be clear. Okay, this is giving a little bit too much Gucci vibes now. Hmm. You know, the sunburst thing? I don't know. Okay, this is like, let's clean the floor with our cape that we spent like $5,000 on. No thank you. Giving me 60s vibes. I don't know. Editorial, but not wearable. Not really. I don't care how skinny you are. It's still going to be very uncomfortable to wear. The color palette is very interesting because we really go from a lot of blacks to these kind of mossy greens and then these extremely oh the back again amazing extremely saturated pinks yellows blues 
it's very well balanced. I love how it kind of bursts in color in, in between these. And also the nude, right? We had like some neutral tones there as well. Oh, this is so elegant. Beautiful dress. Although the top is a bit too sporty. I don't know. Giving me Versace meets Gucci vibes for this dress. Like Tom Ford era Gucci, not the current travesty of a Gucci brand. This one is also giving, oh, this is more Valentino, 60s, 70s. Mina could have worn something like this in one of her 70s performances. Yeah, I'm not feeling the bags, you guys. These teeny tiny bags, mm, I don't know. I think Valentino bags are not really popping at the moment. You know what I mean? I don't feel the desirability for them. Oh, very androgynous look. And the dress is also very androgynous. Loving that. Oh, yes, queen. You go, girl, with that sheer tool moment. Living ferret. The choice of models is stunning. What a wonderful casting, you guys. I just wish they had a little bit more uh, fuller shapes as well. Because, uh, like Lady G was also saying, like everybody's very, very skinny. It would be really nice to see a couple of models that are, you know, well, I'm not saying, I'm not implying that these models are not healthy. But when I say somebody who looks healthier, I'm talking about more rounded, curvy shapes. It would be wonderful to see a little bit more human bodies that uh, reflect the majority of humanity out there, not the minority. Because. <laughs> Body-wise, this is not very inclusive, body shape-wise. Um, April says, wish they had more eyebrows, too. <laughs> well, the eyebrows can always grow out again, you know. That's just an aesthetical choice, but fashion really needs to kind of change in terms of shapes used. Uh, were the people in pink strategically placed... Uh, on, on, on the on the fro? What do you mean fro? Oh, runway? Uh, probably. I mean, a lot of them were dressed for the occasion. And then, yeah, that, that, that doesn't help me. <laughs> the mouse doesn't help me. Um, so, I think that's it. Okay, now we're going to have the entire group you see how they mix the colors so beautifully we got those nude tones and the neutrals mixed in with the black but the black hues are glittery and some are more brown and some are more opaque then we got the powder the purple the greens the whites the dots sprinkled in dots of yellow i love the combination of the colors I would have maybe spread out the reds a little bit more. Oh, they're, they're exiting. Oh, they're like, okay, we're done. We're leaving. <laughs> Very interesting. For every occasion, there's something. Now, there's not a lot of that easygoing day wear, except for the guys. The guys can wear, oh, they're going out. Oh, very. Look at that. They're allowing the people that didn't get to see the show to see the show, too. No, probably even the outside is very controlled in terms of who gets to see it and who gets access to it. I can feel how these models feel. I'm fasting still and it's been 23 hours already. Oh my gosh. Says Sinison. Oh, look at the flowy dresses. Hey, Mr. P. Thank you for the show. Glad you survived. <laughs> He's like, cha. Because he knows what went, what really went down. He knows. He's like sweating. He's like, and I'm like, what am I? You're like, Deco. What are you talking about? Oh, we're gonna get to it right right after this. We're we're gonna we're gonna see what really went down at the show. It's it's painful to watch, but also hilarious. Okay, he's like, thank God we survived, y'all. All the models are like, yeah, yeah, we we barely survived. Uh, Baby Yoda, what do you think? There was a couple of green moments there for you too. And look, in your little outfit, that's the color that some of them are wearing. We could get you one of those little outfits in miniature. What do you think, Baby Yoda? Would you like one of those little jackets? It's just like your little outfit. Same color. He's like, yeah, he's okay. Baby Yoda is like, I mean, he can do without. You know, he's like, he's fine. <laughs> I'm like, okay, suit yourself. 
You want one of those little Valentino masklets that we can put on your face? You want one of those? He's like, meh. So they're walking around the corner. And people on the street are watching. Okay, that's kind of cute. Uh, oh yeah, Erica Badu did the OG music. Obviously, we're not using Erica Badu's music here. Uh, oh, Look at all the chats running through. Uh, we're using, you know, copyright free music because obviously Erica's, uh, Erica Badu's music is not copyright free. So, you guys, let's jump into the second video right away. Now get ready. Get your tissues out, whether you're going to use those tissues to cry, tears of joy or tears of sadness. This is going to be a doozy. Now, the second video is from Offensive T, falls under fair use because uh, we are reviewing it. Let's, I just changed the sound around. I'm using copyright free music. Hit it. Baby Yoda, are you ready? Cha! <laughs> Baby Yoda says cha! Okay, y'all. She doesn't know where to go. <laughs> she, now she's going in the wrong passage. This is not the runway where the columns are. You see that the viewers are facing their backs to the model. And she's also confused. She's like, you, hold on, child. Let me go left. Oh, come on, let me go right. Um, I could have done without these. I, I didn't write these texts. This is offensive T writing these texts. So whatever. Just letting you guys know. But um... <laughs> look at that. They're all like stuck together. They're not. <laughs> okay. This was the most painful thing to see. You remember when we were watching the show, how they edited it out? They just zoomed into her face shortly, like this, and then they zoomed out. But here's what actually really happened. She could not handle... Either the shoes were too big for her, or the heels were not glued properly, or not hammered in properly, but she was... Honey. She's like, y'all... <laughs> They're like, what you want, girl? They're like, no. She's like, I can't. I'm done. She's like, you know what? Let me take the shoe off. I can't do this anymore. This is another model. In the middle of the runway, she's like, let me just take these shoes off because I I want to live through this show. I want to survive. <laughs> Again, traffic in the aisle. Oh, my God. More traffic. More blockage. More heel issues. Here's another model barely balancing oh 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 my god that hurts just watching this wow it's like the duck walk and her shoe came undone i mean valentino you gotta work on your shoes girl this ain't it like if your samples are already this busted i don't want to know what a dangerous hazard it would be to actually wear um these shoes um, to buy them once they hit stores. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> She's like, you know what? I'm done. She's like, <laughs> She's like oh my god. it's also like, I'm done. <laughs> like, I'm done. Everybody's done. Everybody's done. Oh my god, what a train wreck, you guys. Oh my god. A. Matty says, I heard that these models were off the street and not actually professional models. I heard those shoes were off the street and not actually professional shoes. How about we stop blaming people and start, you know, start blaming the actual manufacturing of these products that are like killer shoes, literally. Uh, bye, Valentina says, love DIY. I've fallen downstairs like that. It hurts. Bye, Ad, says Leanne. Kev says, I hope they got bonuses for suffering through the bad uh, through the bad shoes black noise is amazing what editing can do i bet the orthopedic surgeons in the area made bank and this is what i wanted to get to and i was mentioning before in the first video portion of the video editing you can make something so terrible look so good that's the magic of editing and that's the power of editing and manipulation you see not everything is how it, what it seems. So don't blindly trust what the brands are telling you, what politicians are telling you, what politicians are showing you, what brands are showing you. Do your research, because there's always more to the story than meets the eye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. 
Until next time, Baby Yoda tells you to never give up on love. Subscribe.